this is the month and this the happy morn wherein the son of heaven's eternal king of wedded maid and virgin mother born our great redemption from above did bring for so the holy sages once did sing that he our deadly forfeit should release and with his father work us a perpetual peace that glorious fall that light unsufferable and that far beaming blaze of majesty where with he wanted at heaven's high council table to sit the midst of trinal unity he laid aside and here with us to be forsook the courts of everlasting day and chose with us a dark some house of mortal clay say heavenly muse shall not thy sacred vein afford a present to the ancient god hast thou no verse no hymn or solemn strain to welcome him to this his new abode now while the heaven by the sun's team untrod hath took no print of the approaching light and all the spangled host keep watch in squadrons bright see how from far upon the eastern road the star-led wizards haste with odor sweet o ranan prevent them with thy humble ode and lay it lowly at his blessed feet have thou the honor first thy lord to greet and join thy voice unto the angel choir from out his secret altar touch it with hallowed fire it was the winter wild while the heaven-born child all meekly wrapped in the rude manger lies nature in awe to him had doffed her gaudy trim with her great master so to sympathize it was no season then for her to wanton with the sun her lusty paramour only with speeches fair she woos the gentle air to hide her guilty front with innocent snow and on her naked shame pollute with sinful blame the saintly veil of maiden white to throw confounded that her maker's eyes should look so near upon her foul deformities but he her fears to cease sent down the meek eye peace she crowned with olive green came softly sliding down through the turning sphere his ready harbinger with turtle wing the amorous clouds dividing and waving wide her myrtle wand she strikes a universal peace through sea and land no war battle sound was heard the world around the idle spear and shield were high up hung the hooked chariot stood unstained with hostile blood the trumpet spake not to the armed throng and kings sat still with awful eye as if they surely knew their sovereign lord by but peaceful was the night wherein the prince of light his reign of peace upon the earth began the winds with wonder whist smoothly the waters kiss whispering new joys to the mild ocean who now hath quite forgot to read while birds of calm sit brooding on the charmed wee the stars with deep amaze stand fixed in steadfast gaze bending one way their precious influence and will not take their flight for all the morning light o lucifer that often warned them then but in their glimmering orbs did glow until their lord himself be spake and bid them go and though the shady gloom had given day her rule the sun himself withheld his wonted speed and hid his head for shame as his inferior flame the new enlightened world no more should need he saw a greater sun appear than his bright throne or burning axle tree could bear the shepherds on the lawn or at the point of dawn sat simply chatting in a rustic row full little thought they then that the mighty pan was kindly come to live with them below perhaps their loves or else their sheep was all that did their silly thoughts so busy keep 
When such music sweet their hearts and ears did greet, as never was by mortal finger struck, divinely warbled voice, answering the stringed noise, as all their souls in blissful rapture took, the air such pleasure loth to lose, with thousand echoes still prolongs each heavenly close. Nature that heard such sound beneath the hollow round of Cynthia's seat, the airy region thrilling, now was almost won to think her part was done and that her reign had here its last fulfilling. She knew such harmony alone could hold all heaven and earth in happier union. At last surrounds their sight a globe of circular light that with long beams the shame fakes night arrayed, the hell and cherubim and sordid seraphim are seen in glittering ranks with wings displayed, harping in loud and solemn choir with unexpressive notes to heaven's newborn ear. Such music, as tis said, before was never made. But when of old the sons of morning sung, while the Creator great his constellation set, and the well-balanced world on hinges hung, and cast the dark foundations deep, and bid the weltering waves their oozy channel keep. Ring out, ye crystal sphere, once bless our human ears, if ye have power to touch our scent so, and let your silver chime move in melodious time. And let the bass of heaven's deep organ blow. And with your ninefold harmony make a full consort to the angelic symphony. For if such holy song in rap our fancy long, time will run back and fetch the age of gold. And speckled vanity will sicken soon and die. And leprosy will melt from earthly mold. And hell itself will pass away and leave her dolorous mansions to the peering day. Yea, truth and justice, then will down return to men, orbed in a rainbow, and like glories wherein mercy will sit between, throned in celestial she, with radiant feet, the tissued clouds down steering, and heaven, as at some festival, will open wide, the gates of her high palace hall. But wisest fate says no, this must not yet be so. The babe lies yet in smiling infancy that on the bitter cross must redeem our loss so both himself and us to glorify. Yet first to those chained in sleep, the wakeful trump of doom must thunder through the deep with such a horrid clang as on Mount Sinai rang, while the red fire and smoldering clouds outbreak, the aged earth, aghast with terror of that blast, shall from the surface to the center shake, when at the world's last session, the dreadful judge in middle air shall spread his throne, and then at last our bliss full and perfect is, but now begin, for from this happy day, Though dragon underground, in straighter limits bound, not half so far, casts his usurped sway, and wrath to see his kingdom fade, swings the scaly horror of his folded tail. The oracles are dumb. No voice or hideous hum runs through the arched roof in words deceiving. Apollo from his shrine cannot more divine, with hollow shriek the steep of Delphos leaving. No nightly trance or breathed spell inspires the pale-eyed priest from the prophetic cell. The lonely mountains o'er and the resounding shore, a voice of weeping heard and loud lament. From haunted spring, and dale edged with poplar pale, the parting geniuses with sighing scent, with flower and woven tresses torn, the nymphs in twilight shade of tangled thickets mourn. In consecrated earth, 
And on the holy hour, the lyres and lemures moan with midnight plaint. In urns and altars round, a drear and dying sound affrights the flamens of their service quake. And the chill marble seems to sweat, while each peculiar power foregoes his wonted seat. Pierre and Balim forsake their temples dim with that twice battered god of Palestine, and Muna Dashter, heaven's queen and mother both, now sits not girt with Tapi's holy shine. The Libby Cameron shrinks his horn. In vain the Tyrian maids their wounded themes mourn. And sullen Moloch fled, hath left in shadows dread his burning idol, all of blackest hue. In vain with symbols ring, they call the grisly king. In dismal dance about the furnace blue, the brutish gods of Nile, as fast Isis and Horus, and the dog Anubis, haste. Nor is Osiris seen in Memphian grove or green, trampling the unshowered grass with lowings loud. Nor can he be at rest within his sacred chest. Naught but profoundest hell can be his shroud. In vain with timbrel anthems dark, the sable-stoled sorcerers bear his worship off. He feels from Judah's land the dreaded infant's hand, the rays of Bethlehem blind his dusky eye, nor all the gods beside longer dare abide, not Typhon huge ending in snaky twine. Our babe, to show his godhead true, can in his swaddling bands control the damned crew. So when the sun in bed, curtained with cloudy red, pillows his chin upon an orient wave, Flocking shadows pale troop to the infernal jail. Each fettered ghost slips to his several grave, and the yellow-skirted fiends fly after the night steed, leaving their moon-loved maids. But see, the virgin blessed hath laid her babe to rest. Time is our tedious song should here have envy. Heaven's youngest team star hath fixed her polished car, her sleeping lord with handmade lamp attending, and all about the courtly stable, bright harnessed angels sit in order service table. <laughs>